Hi, welcome to SBR Sports Picks. I'm Peter Loshak. Hashtag SSBR. We are talking right now with uh, Joe Gavazzi from winningsportsadvice.com. We're taking a look at some college basketball games to tip Thursday uh, Thursday evening, and it is uh, Wednesday afternoon right now. So we're getting an early look at these games, looking at the early opening lines. And right now we're going to look at uh, UCLA at home against Oregon. Now, Oregon is coming off of uh, an eye-poppingly impressive win over a uh, fellow elite Pac-12 team, Arizona. And, uh, you know, maybe a lot of people saw a uh, uh, cover coming. Uh, cover is likely by Oregon, but I don't know if too many people saw uh, the, the absolute domination that Oregon enjoyed. So that was pretty impressive. Oregon in general has been good ATS uh, in conference play, and UCLA, as we know, has been a generally a bad bet ATS in conference play. They have uh, some serious liabilities on defense. Here, though, they are a, uh, a home favorite over Oregon, despite uh, Oregon's impressive win over Arizona. What's your take on this interesting matchup in line, Joe? Look, up in the sky. <laughs> okay. It's a bird. No, it's a soaring duck. <laughs> when we're talking about bird, we're talking about better record dog, B-E-R-D. Uh. And that's exactly what Oregon is, as they have a two-game lead over UCLA for the Pac-12 standings. Now they're getting four points. The line was wrong when they played the first time. Oregon was a two-point dog and beat them. It was wrong when they played them last time, last year twice. Oregon beat them. Now Oregon takes, as you pointed out, Peter, the far better defense and will beat them again as underdog. Mm. Oregon is one of our 10 remaining defensive dandies. That is, they allow 60, 40, and 32% or less from three-point line and as well have a positive rebound margin, positive assist to turnover ratio, and positive net turnover margin. Only 10 of those remain. Those guys were over 60% of the spread and over 63% in conference play, led by Oregon's 9-2 and two against the spread conference record. Led by Altman, Oregon has been a great underdog, winning 63% of the time in that role. He is also a momentum coach, as when he is coming off a point spread victory in his career, he is over a 65% point spread play. Oregon's the better team, they have the better defense, and they are an underdog. UCLA is still suffering from that high-scoring 10-2 and two ATS beginning, which left their power rating way overvalued. Mm. Take Oregon here. That's where all the value is for the outright victory. Wow, really nice, Joe. I'm sure a lot of people are going to be scratching their heads on this line, uh, thinking about what the line is telling them to do, what the smart way to go is, and uh, Joe Gavazzi thinking they're taking Oregon. Right now, I'm seeing plus four as the opening line. We'll see where it moves and closes, but right now, uh, you can get Oregon plus four. Joe Gavazzi recommending you grab that one. Joe Gavazzi, tell us about your website, winningsportsadvice.com. Grab that four right now on Oregon. I don't think I'll be wrong when I tell you mm -hmm. I think it's going to come down. Yeah. We're at Winning Sports Advice. Dot com and you can get sporting news that you can use every day. Make sure to click on free picks and please, when you have some time, read my money management article, which is available on that home site. I think it's one of the most valuable things I've written. It's winningsportsadvice.com. All right. Thanks, Joe. Research before you bet. Be sure to check out SPR Picks for the best game predictions, breakdowns, and much, much more.